It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and parents have to be good at so many different things. Yeah. Multitasking, hiding vegetables in food. Oh, my God. Those little <laughs> suckers, they always find them. Figuring out where's that smell coming from. Mm. Oh, gosh. Don't blindly put your fingers places to find it. I'll tell you that. Stop. But the number one thing they need to be the best at if they want to be considered a good mom or dad is lying. Mm. Ooh, that's the trick. Why do you think Brooke is such a good mother? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's oh, a man. master manipulator. Yeah, you just call me a good mom. Yeah, Thanks. And it's true. Most of parenting is just creative lying. Because frankly, <laughs> that's the easiest way to get your children to actually do what you need them to do. That's mm-hmm. true. Like, for example, if you need your four-year-old to eat their broccoli, do you really think they'll listen to you if you're like, come on, it's really healthy. It has vitamins and minerals in it. No, it's not hey. fun. No. Mm-hmm. It's not cool. You have to tell them it's a tiny magic tree and yeah. Rubble from Paw Patrol wants you to eat it so you can join his team and help him defeat the kitten catastrophe crew. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That would work on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alexis is suddenly eating all sorts uh, of vegetables. You see, you're lying for their own good. Yeah. But sometimes the power can go to a parent's head. Ah. And they'll take a lie a little bit too far, uh-huh. which is why one woman is going viral today on TikTok. She revealed the biggest lie her parents ever told her, and it all started when she was a little girl and her cat went missing. Oh, oh no. no. These stories have to be oh. Here is what their parents told her. When I was young, I lived at my grandpa's house with my mom, and I had a cat named Inky, and one day I had no idea where she went, so I asked my mom, and my mom told me that Inky got on an airplane with my godmother, Colleen, and all she ever wanted was to become an actress, so she went to LA, and, like, she went to go, like, be a movie star, and I just, like, was like, okay, yeah, sure, and then, like, a year later, the movie Cats and Dogs came out. And there was a cat that looked just like Inky in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, my sis, she made it. And I told everyone for like years and years and years. And it wasn't until eighth grade Thanksgiving. I was like, hey, Papa, remember when like Inky like moved to LA? And I was like, she died under the porch <laughs> when you were young. Oh, oh my God. That that's is amazing. And you're watching the movie lying. thinking, look at Decide to move and follow her dreams someday. <laughs> she was practicing her little cat monologue in the mirror oh, for years man. and then finally really packed funny. up and made it in Ooh. LA. Oh. And after that, that clip, is so creative. After oh, that clip went that. viral, thousands of others joined in and started sharing the biggest lies their parents ever told oh, them. Oh, good. And one of the more popular videos is from a guy named Andrew, whose parents told him a lie in elementary school. Oh, my God. Let's oh. listen. When I was a kid and I first like watched and saw the Harry Potter, I asked my parents if Hogwarts was a real place and they said yes. And when you're 11, you will get to know if you get hot in or not. And on what? my 11th birthday, I got a letter from Hogwarts that I'm pretty sure my parents wrote saying that I had gotten in to Hogwarts and then my parents honestly let me buy an owl. And then two what? months later, they said, oh, right. Sorry, we were kidding about the whole wizard thing. So then I was just stuck with Buckley the owl. Whoa! Whoa! Now that is awful. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I got to say, though, you're 11. Like, <laughs> you're still. You think that he should have known better. I don't know. Like, I think even the parents were like, oh, ha, ha. Like, here, we'll deliver this letter thinking our kid is mm. old enough to realize what. <sighs> Fiction yeah. is at least he didn't try to go through the wall. Right. The car, <laughs> into yeah. the school. I mean, how far? You're right. How far do they take the first they buy the owl and he doesn't uh, get it. Yeah. Then they get him plane tickets to England. Yeah. He still doesn't get it. <laughs> plane ticket, he'd be like, why can't I just use my broomstick? If you're just tuning in, we're talking about a viral trend on TikTok right now where people are sharing the biggest lies their parents ever told them as a kid. <laughs> any of you guys have any big lies? The little ones, like my my parents told me if I ate standing up, my feet would get big. Because oh, really? I often what? like to stand at the table instead oh, of sit down sit for down, dinner. Uh, you never got that one? No. I thought that was common. Uh-uh. Or like the, the crust on your bread makes your hair grow long. <laughs> no, I never well, also, that Oh, if you eat carrots, it helps your vision. That's yeah, a true I actually thing. think that helps. Oh, yeah, that's what? carotene. Yeah, that's I actually. Yeah. That. I thought it was lying. <laughs> Vitamin A really helps. Made a I'm just looking down at Brooke's enormous feet, though. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! But the worst one my parents told me is I got a rabbit. 
Uh-huh. And I had it for like two days and then it was gone. Mm-hmm. And in that two day time, it had escaped and gone over to the neighbor's yard that had really long grass. I mean, like up to your waist grass. Oh, oh wow. perfect for a rabbit. And the neighbors moved simultaneously at the same time. And my parents were like, yeah, the rabbit was happier over there. So we gave it to the neighbors. And I'm oh. like, weird. Those neighbors just have long grass wherever they live. Well, okay. Oh. I found out my dog snapped its neck. Oh, oh yikes. And they didn't tell me the truth till I was 18. Oh. No. It was terrible. It sounds like your parents rarely told you the truth. Yeah. Like, you and, lived in a world of lies. And we can see why. Look, she still can't handle it. I know. <laughs> We had a lot of dead pets, okay? Oh. We're still talking about the viral trend on TikTok where people are sharing the biggest lies their parents ever told them as a kid. And finally, the last one, a 20-something-year-old girl named Cass posted about something her dad told her about where she really came from. Oh. I feel like I win this. So my parents are divorced, and I saw my dad every other weekend, and he picked me up one day from my mom's, and we're driving, and I saw something in the ditch. I forget what it was. And he was like, oh, that's where we found you. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, me and your mom were never married. We were just friends and we saw you in the ditch and we decided that we should care for you. And he's like, don't say anything to your mom about it because she gets really upset when you bring it up. (laughs) I did not say anything about this for four years until elementary school. My teacher needed a birth certificate for something. And I look at my teacher and I say, I don't have a birth certificate because my parents found me in the ditch. So she calls my mom and she's like, uh, what? And my mom was literally so, so angry at my dad. She literally couldn't believe it. But yeah, I mean, I believed I was found in the ditch. Like... What? Uh, Makes sense. Yeah, I'm a ditch baby. I mean, (laughs) where do babies come from? Ditches, Dad. Ditches. Text into 78592. (laughs) What's the biggest lie your parents ever told you when you were a little kid? I can't wait to hear these. Your phone tap's coming up right after this.